to play a little. Pay attention. My engine, my engine is cranking, 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 but no start. This is troubleshooting. Uh, it's cranking, 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 and no start. You remember, in that situation, there are two possibilities. One possibility is no fuel, and the other one, no current, no, sig no signal. It's cranking, 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 but no start. Okay. Uh, how I know if it's no fuel? I spray in the intake manifold, in the in the air filter a little. Start in fluid. Oh, kaboom! Start immediately. Okay. My problem is fuel. Ah, uh, okay. If it's fuel, in this particular case, where is the problem? Excuse me. I discovered that it's fuel. Where is the problem in this in this? Diagram in this configuration. Correct. You need to verify that that pump is running, running. is running and and shooting off you. And you need to verify that the solenoid yes. open. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. I hear the pump. Yeah, the pump is running. I disconnect the output of the pump and I have fuel. Okay, I put it back. But this one, nothing. Ah, I the, the fuel injection pump no, uh, solenoid right. no receive uh, current. Let me bring one alligator cable positive directly from the battery here. Click, and the engine starts immediately. Ah, okay. I have a problem. Probably the cable is interrupted. Or, what is the cable, excuse me, I don't have fuel transfer pump and I don't have solenoid. What is the problem? What is the problem? No, those, those, those switches are... The relay, though. That relay. Let me check. If during the process I have power coming out through 87, no, I don't have. Ah, okay, my problem is here on the relay. You need to troubleshoot the relay or replace the relay. Let me, because I don't have time, let me replace the relay for another one. Boom, start. Okay, the relay, what, what relay is that? Run, run relay, yeah. run relay. Once again, my, my engine was cranking, 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 but no start. I, excuse me, I discovered that I don't have transfer pump and also I discovered that the solenoid at the input of the fuel injection pump no activate. I go back, 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 I replace the run relay and bingo. Ah, my engine was digital, I opened the control box and I found that the run relay that must relay. Good. Excuse me, I have this situation. My engine start, perfect, perfect. I, pre I, I press preheat, I press start, the engine start, I remove start, continue running, I remove preheat and shut down. Alternator exciter is not Okay, the current coming from the alternator is not, is not coming in. Probably my alternator it's not working. It's not producing current. How can I check that? Um, How can I check the alternator? Go to the battery. battery. Excuse me? Battery. Go to the battery. I go to the battery mm -hmm. and I check the voltage. 12, voltage. 12 point something. I say to my friend, hey, my friend, start the engine. I should go the on. engine start and the voltage goes, up. Go, goes down 11.8, 11.7. The alternator is working? No. Nope. This is the problem. I don't have current coming from the alternator. My alternator is damaged. What or pay attention. Excited. Pay attention. I check the alternator with the engine off 12.3. The engine start 13.6, 13.7. My alternator is working. However, here I don't receive extra current. Where is the problem? The diode, the diode is is Kaput. open and the current no flow. It's very common. Where is located that diode? That diode is located in the harness. You need to open, open, and discover where is the, the, the diode. Excuse me. I start my engine. My engine is running. My engine running is running for two, three minutes and shut down. And shut down suddenly. and I have a, a check engine light activated. And when I connect the scanner, 
I check uh, the code and the code is oil pressure. What is the meaning of that situation? Why the engine start, run a couple of minutes, and shut down? Yeah, low, low oil pressure. Low oil pressure for some, for some reason. Yeah. Uh, what happened in this diagram to stop the engine? The switch opens. That switch, oil pressure switch open, because the oil pressure is below normally 20. 20 so. Below 20, open that switch. Ah, okay. Now I need to check my engine. Why I have low oil pressure? Number one, number one, step number one in that procedure to investigate what happened in that situation, low oil pressure. Number one. Check oil. Check oil. Okay. Level and color of the oil and odor and? Okay. Milky. For milky oil, there are two, two possibilities. Raw water with the oil or coolant with the oil. In coolant, you have? Crack, crack gas, gas. Head gasket, da, 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 da. a lot of possibilities. Okay, you need analyze. Okay, it's a mechanical problem in my engine. This is why I have low oil pressure and the engine shut down. Exactly the same in the other situation. The engine start, the engine is running, Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and suddenly shut down. I check the, the code, and the code is high temperature. For temperature, the engine shut down. Now you, you know, you need to identify if my temperature problem is in the coolant side or in the raw water side. Yeah, you remember the process. And with my laser, I check temperature. In, in, in what point of the engine normally you check temperature with the laser gun? In the thermostat housing, number one. In each, in each, in each head. And other one in the elbow of the exhaust. No exhaust manifold. In the elbow of the exhaust, in that point where the water is mixed with gases. You need that temperature, the temperature on the head, and the temperature on the thermostat housing. How can I know easily if the thermostat open or not? The hoses. You remember? At the input of the, the heat exchange. Thank you. You enjoyed the presentation, guys? Good? Now we are going to play. Let me one sec. I modify a little, a little the diagram uh, to explain the difference between the analog control box and uh, the digital with computer with ECM, oh, it's exactly the same. Look at this. This one will be replaced for this one. I have the same, the same relays here. And uh, this is, I put in green color uh, the board, and those are the relays located in the board. And once again, once again, from the run relay, from the run relay, the purple cable activates at the same time the positive and the negative for power in the computer, power in the ECM. Ah, in other words, if I have a problem in the run relay, I don't have power in the computer. The computer receives power when you activate the first position, ignition, in your car. In your car, you activate the first position and you hear the lights, the radio, the music, everything, and the computer receives power. And you see all, all the gauge, beam, 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 because the computer receives power. That's okay? All right. Number one. And now I don't have a mechanical fuel injection pump. It's mechanical, but that is common rare. Only have one input and one output. Ah, the input is low pressure, and the output more than 7,000 PSI. To pressurize the common rare, the common rare. The common rare is pressurized. And this is, the, this is the pressure regulator, common rail pressure regulator. Normally also, here in the common rail, you have a gauge to check the pressure on the common rail. This is why I recommend you remember in class, 
that a UV familiarize with the pressure in the common rail in the port engine and the pressure in the common rail in the starboard should be the same. No? Okay. The gauge, and this is the pressure regulator. Pressure regulator. What is the function of this pressure regulator in the common rail system? Keep the pressure equal at the input of all the injectors. Exactly the same. Ah, okay. And each injector is electronic injector. Each injector have one ground and one signal coming for one pin specific in the computer. Ah, pin 17 is for injector number one. Pin 18 for injector number two. Pin 20 for injector number three, yeah? Each injector have your own pin. And the computer, the computer, according with signals coming from the oil pressure sensor, from the coolant temperature sensor, from the oxygen sensor, all of the sensors enter here with signals. This one say in what moment open or close the injector and, and how long the interval. Bingo. 